I'm going to show you today a very, very cool derivation of relativistic energy momentum that is due to Holiday, H O L L A D A Y, Wendell Holiday, who was on the faculty at Vanderbilt University in Tennessee and did much to build up the department also administration job there, uh, building up that Department of Physics. And I learned about it from Joe Hefner, who's at Catawba Valley Community College. And he was at a meeting, a Zoom meeting, last Saturday, November 13th, 2021, at our North Carolina section of the American Association of Physics Teachers. What you need for this derivation is to know that work is given by force times distance. I'm going to give you the one-dimensional simplified version of Holiday's derivation. And you also need to know from relativity the gamma factor, which arises naturally, this combination of terms. So, these things we have encountered already. This is encountered in introductory physics, and we included discussion of this in our relativity chapter. So the work energy theorem states that the change of energy of the system is due to the work done. So we're gonna write this as F delta X, and then we're going to write for the force change in momentum with respect to time, that's Newton's second law. And then since these deltas have not gone, you know, limits to zero yet, they're not infinitesimal, we can move around deltas easily and not upset mathematicians. So we can then write delta X over delta T. Mathematicians get nervous if you have the form, for example, DE is dp over dt dx and then you start moving infinitesimals around so here this is okay to do it this way and then what we have is the velocity this is going to be your velocity and we're going to have d delta e we're going to have delta e is the velocity times delta p and now if i write that in infinitesimal form de is V dP. And that's a very important equation that we'll be needing shortly. The next part is to take the gamma and move this square root over to the left side. And then square both sides. Gamma squared, one minus V squared over C squared equals one times one is one. And then use the distributive axiom to multiply in. And here, when the gamma hits the V, there'll be, I'll put a square there, square both of them over C squared, it's equal to one. And then we take the differential, the differential of gamma squared, say the differential here of the second term, like this. I'm gonna go ahead and put a bracket around here and then all that's over C squared, constant. And then D1 is equal to zero. So let's bring this on the other side of the equation and write it a little bit more neatly. And then we have here one over C squared, D gamma V squared. And to make sure that our notation is clean, let's just go ahead and do that. Now using the laws of calculus, we would have two gamma d gamma, and over here, one over c squared, we bring the two down, and like you take, like the, the chain rule kind of idea, the derivative of what's inside. So this is two gamma v, and then you would have d gamma v. All right, now we're gonna multiply both sides by mc squared over two gamma. So the two gamma will cancel on the left and I'll just have mc squared. 
On the right-hand side, two gamma is gonna cancel, this is gonna cancel, and the C squared is gonna cancel. I'm gonna have just the M, so that's MV, D, gamma V, and we're almost finished now, look at this. We have this formula. Watch how we can make this look very, very similar to this formula by taking these constants and moving these constants inside. You can always move the constants inside the differential, no problem. And here we can move the M inside, right? M, M, V, gamma, and we, are finished. E, relativistic energy. P, relativistic momentum. These formulas are the same with these assignments. So in other words, E is mc squared times the gamma, put the gamma first, and P is gamma mv. And let's write it all out. This would be mc squared over the square root, and this would be mv over the square root, and there you have it. The derivation of relativistic energy, relativistic momentum, as if by magic, playing with differentials and coming from the Lorentz gamma factor. Just amazing, look how short and beautiful that is. This should be more well known. I thank Joe Hefner for bringing it to my attention. And we include it here as an addendum to the relativity chapter in our theoretical physics course. Thanks, Joe.